I am Leyland. There will be will be performing "Hopeless to Bring the Feathers" by Emily Dickinson. <coughs> Hope is the thing of feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And the sweetest girl in the herd, and sore must be the storm that Abash, the little bird, kept so many warm. I fled in the chilly land and in the strangest sea, yet never in extremity did it ask for a song of me. Hello, my name is Stephen and today I will be reading you this poem called Cats Sleep Anywhere. Cats sleep anywhere, any table, any chair, top of piano, window ledge, in the middle, on the edge, open drawer, empty shoe, anybody's that will do, fitted in a cardboard box, in the cupboard with your frocks, anywhere, they don't care, cats sleep anywhere. Hello, my name's Cole and this is Kylan and I'm going to be performing a, po a poem called By Myself. When I'm by myself and I close my eyes, I'm a twin, I'm a dimple in a chin, I'm a room full of toys, I'm a squeaky noise, I'm a gospel song. I'm a gong, I'm a leaf turning red, I'm a loaf of brown bread, I'm whatever I want to be, I'm everything I care to be. And when I'm when and when I open my eyes, what I care to be is me. Hello, my name is Lewis, and I'll be performing my poem by Hilaire Belloc called "The Frog." Be kind and tender to the frog, and do not call him names like slimy skim or pollywog or likewise ugly james or grape a, or gave a grin or toad gone wrong or billy bandy knees the frog is justly sensitive to epithets epithets like these no animal will more repay a treatment kind and fair at least so lonely people say whoever keep a frog and by the way they are extremely rare Once there was an elephant that tried to use the telephone. No, no, I mean elephone. Who tried to use the telephone? <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm not quite, I'm not certain quite that even now I've got this right. However, it was, he got his trunk entangled in the telephone. The more he tried to get it free, the louder buzzed the telly free. I fear I'd better drop the song of Ellie Fox and Telephone. My name's Imogen and this is Sierra. We're performing Windy Nights by Robert Louis Stevenson. Whenever the, whenever the moon and stars are set, whenever the wind is high, all night long in the dark and wet, man goes riding by. Late at night when the fires are out, why does he gallop and gallop about? Whenever the trees are crying aloud and ships are tossed at sea, by the highway low and loud, by the gallop goes he. By he comes back at the gallop again. By, by the gallop he goes. I'm Lenny. Hi, I'm Libby. I'm Rizzy. And today we'll be forming a poem um, called Scissors. Okay, no really leave the room. Everyone listen to me. We had ten pairs of scissors at half past two, and now there's only three. Seven pairs of scissors disappeared from sight. Not one of you leaves till we find them. We can stop here all night. Scissors don't lose themselves, melt away or explode. Scissors don't have legs of their own to go running up the road. We really need those scissors. That's what makes me mad. If it were seven pairs of children we lost, wouldn't be so bad. 
I don't want to hear excuses. Don't anyone speak. <laughs> uh, just ransack this room till we find them. We can be here all week. Um, hi, I'm Gabriel. And I'm Noel. And today we'll be, we will be performing the poem called The Months by Sarah Coleridge. January brings us snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. February brings the rain, thaws the frozen lake again. March brings us breezes, March brings us bleak breezes, loud and shrill, makes the stirring daffodils, st dancing daffodils thrill. Um, April brings the primrose sweet, Scatters daisies by our feet. May bring May brings us flocks, fifty lambs, skipping around the breezy dams. June brings tulips, lilies, roses, fills the children's hand with posies. Hot July brings us cooling showers. Uh, apricots and lily flowers. August brings us sheaves of corn, Once and then the harvest is born. Warm September brings us fruits, sportmen begin to shoot. Fresh October brings the pheasant, then to gather nuts is pleasant. Dull November brings a blast, and all the leaves start to fall fast. Chill December brings the sleet, blazing fire and Christmas treat. Um, hi, my name is Cassie and I'll be doing um, caterpillars. What do caterpillars do? Nothing much but chew and chew. What do caterpillars know? Nothing much about how to grow. They just eat what by and by will make them be a butterfly. But that is more than I can do, however much I chew and chew. <laughs> My name is Jay and today I'll be performing a poem called The Sparrow and the Sun. I shot an arrow into the air, it fell to earth I knew not where, for so swiftly it flew the sight, could not follow it in its flight. I breathed the song into the air, it fell to earth I knew not where, for who has sight so keen and strong that it could follow it in the flight of a song? Long, long afterward in an oak, I found the arrow still unbroke, and the uh, song from beginning to end. I found again a heart of the heart of a friend. Hello, everyone. My name is June, and I'll be and um, I will be performing a poem called Dreams. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Hi, my name is Alana and I'm going to be performing my poem called The Crocodile. Howl dark for this crocodile and prove his shiny tail and pour the waters of the Nile on every golden scale. How chirpy seems to grin, how neatly spreads his claw, and welcomes little fishes in with gently smiling jaw. Hi, my name is Charlotte and I'll be performing a poem called Language of Cats. Teach me the language of a cat, that slow motion blink, that crystal stare, that tight lip purr, that wide mouth hiss. Let me walk with a saunter, nose in the air. Teach my ears ways to ignore names that I'm called. May they only twitch to the distant shake of a box full of biscuits, the clink of a fork on a china dish. Teach me that vanishing trick, where dents and cushions appear and I miss. Show me that high wire trip along fences, the place with no but to hide away places, no one but me know exists. Don't teach me dog, all easy to please, that slobbers, that yaps, that begs for a pat. That sits when it's told by its owner, that's dead on a leaf. No, not that, teach me the language of cat. Hello, I'm Luna and I will be performing a poem called Table Manners by Gillette Burgess. The goats 
they lick their fingers, the groups they lick their knives, they spill their broth on the tablecloth as they live untidy lives. The groups they talk while eating, and loud and fast they chew. So that is why I am glad that I'm not a group, are you? <laughs> Norway, I'd ask an elephant to stay. If I was the king of the blue, I would leave my but and my button gloves undone. If I were the king of king but blue, I'll ask I'll think of all the wonderful things I could do. If I were the king of any anything, I would say to my soldiers, I would I am the king. Hi, I'm Ro. I'm Gwen and I'm Lily May and we'll be performing My Shadow by Ro Robert Louis Stevenson. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very very like me from heels up to my head. I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow, not at all like proper children which is always very slow. For sometimes he shoots up taller like an india rubber ball and sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play and can only make a fool of me in every sort of way. He stays so close beside me, he's a coward you can see. I think shame to stick to nursie as that shadow sticks to me. One morning, very early before the sun was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an arrant sleepy head, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. Hello, uh, my name is Jax and this is Jose, and together we'll be performing The Sleepy Giant by Charles E. Carroll. My age is 372, and I think with my deepest regret, I used to pick up and ferociously chew the dear little boy to my neck. I was eating them raw in the holiday suit and eat, and to eating them curried with rice. I was eating them baked in their jackets and boots and found them exceedingly nice. But now that my jaw is too weak for such fare, it's exceedingly rude to do such a thing when I'm quite well aware. Little boys do not like to be chewed. And so I live contentedly upon eels and do nothing amiss. And I pass all spare time for my meals in an innocent slumber like this. Princess, and today I'll be reading a poem called This Is Just a Slave by William Carl Tomlin. I have eaten the flimstower in the ice box, uh, which you were probably feeding for breakfast. Forgive me, they were so delicious, so sweet, so cold. I purple cow by Goad Burgess. I never saw a purple cow. I never hope to see one, but I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see them be one. Good afternoon, good morning, and my name, my name is Riley, and I'll be performing the Rickety Train Ride. I'm taking the train to the Rickety Rick, Clickety Clickety Clack. I'm sat in my seat with a sandwich to eat as I travel the rickety track. It's never so rickety tricky train. I honestly rickety think that before it arrives at the end of the line, it will tip up my drink to drink. 